Welcome to this first lesson on the MPE app. Let's explore the MPE media player. I'll start playback by pressing the triangle, pause it, and stop. I can move playback by dragging on the waveform or by dragging on this slider. The two small lines in the slider show the position of the current section. If I need to move further on the waveform, I can enter waveform overview mode, which shows the whole track, and I can move around by dragging the yellow playhead. That's useful if you've got lots of sections set up and you want to move to one further along in the track. I can move playback by a frame at a time by tapping this button, or forward by frame at a time by tapping this button. Useful for figuring out fingerings. These buttons could do other things. Let's find out what using help mode. So I'll tap on the yellow help button and then tap enter help mode. You can see the screen's gone a shade of green, which means we are in help mode. What that means is if I tap any button, I get some help for it. So on this one, tap to step back by one frame. We just saw that one. Double tap to step back by a beat snap interval. I'll explain that in a moment. Or long press to step back two seconds. So we'll exit help mode by tapping the help button. And let's try stepping back using beat snap. So I'll long tap on beat snap. You can see we're currently set to snap to one beat, but I could set it to two beats, one bar or even fractions of a beat. We'll leave it at a beat for the moment. And what that means is if I double tap on this button here, I'll move back by a beat at a time. Each of these dashed white lines in the waveform represents a beat. Each of the solid white lines represents a bar. We're in 6-8 here, so there's 6 beats in each bar. The blue lines, which are easier to see in the overview mode, mark out every fourth bar typically. The other thing Beat Snap lets us do is to move a section by a beat at a time. So I can move this section like so. We'll cover sections in more detail shortly. Let's look at playback speed. The easiest way to change playback speed is to pan your finger in this top area. You're shown the new speed, both as a percentage of the performance tempo and as beats per minute. If I double tap, it takes me back to the performance tempo. I can also change the speed by clicking the player settings button and dragging this slider. Or move it 10 beats a minute forward or back with these links. If I press the speed link, it sets it back to 100%. I can also quickly set it to half speed, three quarter speed, 90%, or back to 100%. While we're here, we can change the volume. Again, there's buttons to quickly change by tens, and if I tap on the volume link, I'll be back at 100% volume. I can pitch down by a semitone at any time like this, or pitch up like this. This is great if your instrument is in a different key to the track. If your instrument is just slightly out of tune with the track, which has just stopped, I'll just restart it so we can demonstrate. Then I can move it down by a cent at a time, which is a hundredth of a semitone. So that allows me to quickly retune the track so I don't have to retune my instrument. Also in player settings, I've got EQ, which is good if you're trying to isolate parts. This link changes them back to their original position. Okay, that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.